Welcome to York Reacts. Now, usually I would be jumping right into a trailer right now and, and <laughs> talking about that, but holy smokes, you guys really came out in full force on my latest, you know, trailer <laughs> kind of reaction to GTA 6. Holy moly, man. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, ended up on IGN or something like that. Now, even former Rockstar animator Mike York gave his two cents on the trailer. And coming from a former employee who worked on both GTA 5 and RDR 2, his opinions come with a little more weight. Man, crazy stuff. You know, I, I want to make sure that I want to thank everybody that's came to my channel because there's been a whole slew of people that came in and thanked me for working on the game and different stuff like that. I've gotten some real positive energy from all, all the comments and different stuff. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that are recent subscribers. You know, <laughs> I had a goal that I wanted to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And then all of a sudden, I had a goal of hitting that by the end of the day. And then b <laughs> before I knew it, it's surpassed like 5,000 subscribers by now. It's really insane. And I just want to say thank you so much. And I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway. So it looks like not at 5K, maybe at 10K. So if you're not subscribed yet, definitely do that because I'm going to be doing a big giveaway here pretty soon. But all that aside, what I want to do is I want to kind of... Um, go on to the trailer again and go to a little part two here go into a little bit more depth and i want to clarify a couple things because you know in my last video the the uh, journalists and people from ign took my stuff for word you know and i just want to clarify a couple things and give my impressions on on on, on something so let's dive in and give a little second impression shall we the biggest question I had from a lot of the people that are viewers and in the comment section and IGN, all this different stuff was, <clears throat> are these scenes in game, right? Are they, are they in game? Are they cinematics? There's like this different words and, you know, are they real time? Are they, you know, this or that? Are they pre-rendered? Are they? So one thing I want to clarify is, is when I say that the, that this is um, all in game, what I mean is it's all in engine. And what they're doing in here is they're, they're a lot of times when the, the way I want to get this across is that a lot of times when they make a cut scene, um, they're going to try to make it the best they can when they're presenting it in a trailer. Okay. So um, for instance, this scene right here, okay, there's a bunch of flamingos, they're flying around and Hey, <laughs> don't put one in your car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try to... It's so funny, by the way, on this note, somebody put in the comment section, they said, uh, stealing flamingos in your car confirmed. <laughs> I just thought that was really good. <laughs> Shout out to that commenter. That was hilarious. So it, to take this scene in, into consideration, right? Um, is this in game? Is this a cut scene? This is most likely an in-game scene, and but that being said, when they do a trailer or they're presenting like you know a trailer to the audience, most companies, okay, I'm not going to speak for Rockstar, but most companies, including Rockstar, usually what they'll do is they'll they'll put a bunch of flamingos in here, right? Normally in-game, but for the trailer, they'll put in a couple more flamingos. They'll have a little bit more foliage in the back. They'll pump up the texture a little bit. They'll do they'll add a little bit extra fog in that area they'll they'll hide a little bit extra stuff in the background so that they can kind of get a little bit more memory and and assets to be able to stream it a little bit better just during this scene and while they're showing it off right for the trailer but that doesn't mean that this is like a crazy cut scene and the game's not going to look like this or or anything like that so i want to preface on a lot of that stuff which is you a lot of these things are going to be in game. Um, and now what I mean by that is that they're just, they're streaming in engine. They're not something that's pre-rendered. It's not a pre-rendered asset that's been like, you know, rendered outside of the game sort of thing and then loaded in and you're watching like a movie, right? That's not the case. A car can really fly into that scene, you know, but what happens is, um, you know, the developer Rockstar in this case doesn't want like if this, like for instance, if this is a cut scene, uh, let me just show you this right here. Let's say this scene right here, um, this one. Let's say that this scene is a cut scene, right? Like you're playing the game and then all of a sudden you set the, you don't have control right now. You're just watching these guys talk, right? Now, 
Um, it's going to be played and streamed in the engine and in game and whatnot. But the developer, you know, Rockstar, in, is going to make sure and mitigate a couple things so that the cutscene doesn't mess up, right? So they're going to minimize how many people are being loaded in around this vicinity. Probably, I'm, I'm just taking a guess, okay? Because I'm not a coder. Uh, I'm just the animator, right? When I was over there, I was just doing animation for the most part. But I've been working in games for a really long time, so I know how this stuff kind of works and, and usually what they do, right? So in this case, if it's a cutscene, a lot of times they'll hide some of the people, they'll minimize all these different things so that they can stream in better hair quality. This will be like a different version of the character. They'll have two versions usually. They'll have a version that's like an in-game version per se, the one that's like walking around the city and you see him everywhere. You can run up and punch him. And then they have another one that's like a cutscene version. And the cutscene version is the one that they're going to use for in-game, right? It doesn't mean that it's not in-game or real time or all these different kind of phrases that people are throwing out there. It's not a pre-rendered cutscene. That's the point. Because a lot of times in the old school days of gaming, they would have a pre-rendered cutscene. And what that would mean is that they would do all these things way above and beyond the game. They would put in all this extra lighting and all this extra like, you know, physics and things. They'd go way above and beyond. And they would make it look super realistic. And you would play the game and the game would be all clunky and jumpy and around and it doesn't look very detailed. And then you would watch that like cutscene, whatever you want to call it, right? And when it would show the cinematic or cutscene, it would be really realistic, right? Well, that's because it was pre-rendered. But Rockstar, in this case, has done a really good job at blending the two of them. They're, they make their in-game, their like assets look so real that they use those in-game assets as their actual cutscenes. And it's really powerful that way because it gives them a lot of... Um, leeway on different cameras and different things you can do i guess you know in in the game um but you can do more with a cinematic it actually hinders you to do it in game it's more impressive to do a cutscene in game and make it still look good that's why i emphasize it like oh my god this is in game or oh my god because it's almost more impressive to do it that way right but it doesn't mean that they haven't uh, hit a couple things maybe in the scene or, you know, I don't know what they're doing over there, right? Like, don't quote me, IGN. <laughs> I keep throwing up finger quotes, but yeah, don't quote me on it. But this is what I assume is happening over there, right? Because in the game, you want to show off the cutscene, but you also don't need all those people in the background or, or whatnot. So technically it's in-game, but it's not a pre-rendered cutscene. Hopefully that clears up kind of the aspect of that. All right, let's get back in here and let's talk a little bit more about a couple other things in this trailer. Um, now, for instance, a scene like um, this right here, okay? Uh, one thing that the IGN brought up and a bunch of comments have been asking is, is this Lucia or whatever her name is in, in the game? It does look like her. Um, and it looks like she's dyed her hair blonde and maybe she's undercover on this thing. But it still does look like, you know, an in-game cutscene or an in-game scene her hair still has like um it's kind of got pixelated edges to it you can see the shadow on her back is a tiny bit um but not on her back but you can see that it's not perfectly smooth and awesomely rendered okay they could have made these scenes way better trust me rockstar has the ability to make these scenes look even better as a pre-rendered scene but they're not trying to do that i don't think right they're trying to really push this as much as they can so if this is a cut scene like i said before maybe they're hiding a few cars down below they're doing a few things to really push the limits they can in this kind of area to make the cut scene shine and make it look as best as they can right so hopefully a lot of that makes some sense. <laughs> okay, this next scene I wanted to show is another kind of scene that looks re very realistic. And this is one that actually throws me off. Now, after I've watched it a few more times, this could be um, something that's more pre-rendered, but I don't think it is because of the her hair and whatnot. I just think they might have done a really good job and they figured out something new that we don't know about yet on like how they're doing 
uh, light reflecting off of the camera lens because you can see like these kind of light flares and, and lens flares and they look so smooth and beautiful. They don't look pixelated. They look so pretty right there in that scene. So I don't know. It could be one of those scenarios, like I said before, where they are hiding a lot of stuff in the background so that they can really push the polygon limits and they can push the quality of like the shadows and the lighting and stuff like that, right? In this scene, it's important. You know, when you play other games um, like The Last of Us and different stuff, that's what they do to make it look very realistic. They, You're only in this little pocket of the game. You're in this one little mission. You're in this one little room. And when you're in that one little room, they have the opportunity to hide everything around it. And when they do that, they can make the that room look more realistic, right? So it's harder for a, a company like Rockstar to pull off a big open world game and make it look realistic. That's what is so impressive about these games that I think a lot of viewers don't even understand is that not only does it look this good, but it looks this good with that many assets going around the city with all these things being streamed in all these. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. And the only reason why it looks this good is because the team over there has really perfected this over decades of time. They've been doing it from GTA one, two, three, four, five. Like if a company comes in right now and tries to make a game like this, Oh man, they're going to stumble all over their feet trying to figure out all these things that rockstar is already figured out over the years after trial and error and perfecting it, you know, over time and stuff. So this kind of, hopefully it breaks down this in a different kind of way that you understand it more, I guess, because I don't want my words to be taken a certain way to where like I say something and everybody goes, Oh my God, that's the, <laughs> you know, that's the fact he's an ex rockstar employee. He said it. So that's the fact, you know, like I said before in my last video, if you haven't seen it, I'll just post it up here. You know, I don't really know. I'm not over there anymore. I'm just a, I'm just like a fan like you guys now. I have a an insight and an assumption of what I think is happening and, and what I think they're doing in the game, and, and I'm impressed with what they're doing, but I don't really know what's going on over there because I don't work there no more, right? So all of this is kind of a little speculation on my part too, but I have a lot of knowledge and background in how the games are made, so I'm trying to like you know give some cool insights to this stuff and and <laughs> do what I can to you know give you guys insights on it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little breakdown on the trailer that 150 million people or something has seen right now. I think it's like 104 million. Absolutely insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this little part of it, part two. I wanted to just clarify a few things. That's all I wanted to do because I've been under the, the radar now on IGN and all these different things, which I'm very grateful for. But I just wanted to make sure that my words are clarified and I didn't mix things up. And, you know, I don't want to get kind of the law taken down on me on this stuff. I'm trying to have fun out here and present the best stuff possible and, and keep you guys entertained. So if you enjoyed this one, you guys know what buttons to press. I'm going to have a, a little video here. I'm going to show off uh, some of the God of War. I really would love you guys to check out this video because I feel like it hasn't gotten enough love. So I'm going to leave a little link here to the God of War animation that I worked on in the cutscenes. So if you're interested in like an animation breakdown and how I did stuff on this game, I highly recommend checking out this video. So I appreciate all your guys' time and support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.